Hello, I'm a very interesting and intelligent man. And today, these bananas, this cherry, these grapes and I will be teaching you some English idioms. I bet you've never been taught by some fruit before. Now, as we know, all sensible fruit is round and green or red or orange, but not this fellow. No, the banana is long and yellow and he bends. What a crazy fruit! And what's more, monkeys eat them. And we all know what monkeys are like. In English, if someone is very emotional and starts shouting and behaving in a crazy way, we say he's gone bananas. To go bananas. Like me, when I scored the winning goal in the last minute of that cup final, I went completely bananas. Oh, really? Well, that's wonderful for you. Yes, but you know, there's more to life than money. It doesn't really interest me at all. That was my boss. He's won the lottery. 20 million pounds. I told him I wasn't really interested in money, so I'm not jealous at all. But it's not true. I wish I was rich! Uh, thank you. Yes, it's a case of sour grapes. In English, if somebody pretends not to be impressed by something because they're jealous, we say it's a case of sour grapes. It's a case of sour grapes. At least, now he's so rich, perhaps he'll leave. Mmm, cherries. Did you know I could juggle? Hang on, give me a second bite of the cherry. In English, if we try to do something a second time because we failed at first, we call it a second bite of the cherry. <coughs> Here I go. How about a third bite of the cherry? What do you mean there are no cherries left? <laughs> 